Hello, in this tutorial we are going to make a frequency sweep pulse generator that will start with a frequency of 1 Hz and will increase its frequency for 0.5 Hz every second. Once the generator reaches the frequency of 10 Hz it will stop. You can easily set your own starting frequency, end frequency, frequency increment and increment interval. This module can put out the square wave or the sine wave. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. What I really like about them is that you can get 10 professional made boards for around $5, which is really amazing for professionally made boards. On their website just click on the get instant quote and you will see how much the PCB will cost. They also offer other services like PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining. Now they also offer aluminium PCBs and their latest special offer of flex and rigid flex PCBs. For this project you will need the Arduino board or any other board. AD9850 module, some jumper wires, Visuino program, OLED display, breadboard or an oscilloscope to see the signal. wire everything according to this schematic, go to website and download and install Visuino program, start Visuino and select the board, in our case it is Arduino Uno, add clock generator, And in the properties window set frequency, in our case it is 1 Hz, this means that the frequency will increase every 1 second. Add counter component, add analog value component. And in the properties window set value, this will be our starting frequency, in our case it will be 1, so that means we start with 1 Hz. Now add integer to analog component. And in the properties window set scale, in our case it is 0.5, this means that every time the frequency increases it will be for 0.5 Hz. Now we need add analog component to combine both analog values. Now add analog multi-source component. Add 
add analog on off switch component Add compare analog value component. And in the properties window set compare type to CT smaller. And value to 10. This means that our end frequency will be 10 Hz. Add AD9850 component and in the properties window select frequency and click on the pin icon and select float sync pin. Now optional if you want to use an OLED display we can add the component. Double click on the display OLED 1 and in the elements window drag draw text to the left side and in the properties window set size to 2 and text to frequency. Now in the elements window drag text field to the left side and in the properties window set size to 2 and Y to 30 and close the elements window now connect clock generator 1 pin out to counter 1 pin in and connect counter 1 pin out to integer 2 analog 1 pin in Connect analog value 1 to add 1 pin 0 and connect integer to analog 1 pin out to add 1 pin 1. Now connect add 1 pin out to analog multi source 1 pin in and connect analog multi source 1 pin 0 to analog switch 1 pin in and connect analog multi source 1 pin 1 to compare value 1 pin in connect compare value 1 pin out to analog switch 1 pin enable connect analog switch 1 pin out to synthesizer 1 pin reset and to pin frequency now if you plan to use the OLED display connect analog switch 1 pin out to display OLED 1 text field 1 pin in and connect display OLED 1 I2C out to Arduino board pin I2C in. Now connect synthesizer 1 pin word load clock to Arduino board digital pin 8 and connect pin frequency update to Arduino board digital pin 9 and pin reset to Arduino board digital pin 10 and pin data to Arduino board digital pin 11. If you don't plan to use the display OLED 1 you can just connect the analog switch 1 pin out to Arduino board serial pin 0 and monitor the frequency in the serial terminal. At the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right port of board and click compile build and upload button.